Hey guys, today's video is a Q&A. I'm so excited because I've been waiting to do this video since before I even came back to YouTube. I used to do these a lot back in the day. <laughs> these are really fun because you guys get to know me more. I have been asking people for questions on Facebook. I really built my audience there. I'm at about 4,000 likes. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it and we'll celebrate soon. Yeah! But I did get over 20 questions, so I want to get started so this video doesn't go too long. Like that movie Sisters with Tina Fey and Amy Poehler too long. Ooh, I said it. Whoa, okay, alert, alert. If I butcher your name, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna do my best. I'm just gonna say first names, so please bear with me. The first question comes from Talon. They ask, it might be personal, but how did you and your husband first meet if it hasn't already been asked? Um, this is actually a new one. Um, me and my husband, or my husband and I, I should say, met um, through my best friend, Amanda. Um, she was our mutual friend. We grew up in the same small town, and she mostly grew up there too, so all three of us did. And yeah, so we got introduced. Um, it turns out that me and my husband Jacob were going to the same college at the time. So it was really cool that we were able to connect and um, start hanging out. Um, we watched like a lot of movies. It wasn't like a Netflix and chill site type situation. It was very innocent, very, um, you know, cute. We were just friends at first and then we both expressed having like a crush on each other and um, <laughs> it's really kind of cheesy actually. And um, so then we got together and we've been together ever since and that was about five years ago. Talon also asked, how do you recommend coming out to your parents? I'm super nervous about it. Um, I did get this question more than once. I think I got this also in a private message and I've actually got this question before, um, before I made my return to YouTube as a beauty blogger. I have received this question. So what I'm going to do is in the coming weeks, I'm going to do an entire video about my coming out experience and any advice, oh, any advice that I have for all of you for coming out. And I hope I can help some people um, like Talon who are looking to come out to their parents. Stay hopeful, stay alive, stay happy. The next question is from Cecily. It is, I've been thinking about starting my own YouTube channel as a hobby. What would be your advice on staying a beauty-based YouTube channel for a newbie? Thanks in advance. Kisses. Okay, well, kisses bag. <laughs> but um, I honestly, what I would say is that... Um, if you're going to do it as a hobby, make sure that your subscribers know that up front because um, they do have like a certain expectation of how many videos you post, like how often you post. So definitely make sure that your subscribers know that it is kind of on the back burner, not your main focus, not like your career path. Um, but if you are going to do that, I would definitely say be yourself. It sounds really cheesy, but like if you're not yourself, everybody knows like when i tried to come back to youtube a few times um between 2009 and 2015 um it just wasn't happening like it never got the response that this is right now because i was not being myself i was not being authentic i am now and i hope you can see that so honestly I would say just be yourself and um be consistent if you're going to upload a video um every month that's fine. Just do it every month. Don't do it like six videos in one week and then never again for a year. You know, just be consistent. Um, Twin Cities Gay Scene, which is the digital magazine that I'm a columnist at, um, they asked, what's your favorite part of being a columnist for Twin Cities Gay Scene magazine? Um, that's a really good one. <laughs> um, my favorite part about it is that I feel like Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City. Nice! <laughs> if you win the Powerball tonight, okay, this is kind of old question. This is from Lauren. If you win the Powerball tonight, what would be the first thing you buy? <laughs> um, honestly, I think it would be like a really nice like luxury condo um, in the city with underground parking for me and my husband. 
I just want to live like where the action is but have that safety of like an underground parking area. I would like a lot of square footage but I would like a condo because I'm not really about that yard maintenance life and neither is my husband so I think we would go with a nice condo. Jen asks, is there a lot of pressure being a YouTuber since a lot of watchers tend to be a bit picky? Um, that's a really good question. I'm actually really anticipating that. Um, as I am growing with my audience, like I'm seeing so many positive comments and please keep them coming because they keep me going. But, um, I definitely know that there will be negative comments. Um, the only negative comments I've got so far were that I wasn't doing enough drugstore and, um, my last video I incorporated drugstore. I'm going to try my best to continue I've been watching drugstore videos to get ideas. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to look for drugstore beauty items to recommend for you guys. Bruce, who I know um, from Snapchat, he said, what made you want to be a YouTuber slash entertainer? Um, I just kind of have always wanted to be um, kind of in the spotlight in some way my whole life. I've done music, I've done YouTube, I've done stage theater, I've done television, I've done radio, like I just really love um, putting myself out there. It's kind of a little bit out of my comfort zone sometimes, but that's really good for you, I think. And honestly, I just have an outgoing side that only really can be expressed through the arts. So that's kind of why I do it. Daniela asks, which setting spray and primer do you recommend? Okay, so for makeup, I definitely recommend the MAC um, Studio Fix Spray. My friend John asks, were you born this way? And it's a picture of Lady Gaga from the Golden Globes looking a mess because it, they caught her at an off moment. That's not fair, John. Come on. Um, What foundation and products do you recommend for a great matte finish? Um, That's from Lucero. Honestly, I go for more of a dewy finish, so um, I can only recommend um, products that really have like a dewy finish to them. But actually, I take that back because if you put um, MAC Studio Fix Powder, which is around $20 to $30, um, if you put that over any liquid foundation, it's going to set it matte. So I would definitely check that out. Um, that's what I use. Otherwise, I've heard good things about the Cushion Foundation from L'Oreal, which is brand new in the drugstore, so check that out too. Chassia asks, what are your favorite beauty products? It's like so, uh, so hard. Okay, so you know, that's why I made this channel about beauty because there's so many that I love. Um, I honestly have to say, I think that that MAC Mist that I was talking about would be one. Definitely the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Definitely the L'Oreal Lumi foundation in the drugstore and for sure Hula bronzer from Benefit. Okay, that's four. Oh my god, I almost skipped a question. That's bad. Lisa asks, if you had to be stuck on an island and could only pick five items to take with you, what would you take and why? Um, good question. <laughs> I take my iPhone to call for help. I'd take this laptop because I'd be lost without it. Um, true story, it almost broke today. I almost died. Um, <laughs> ooh, okay. And then um, my husband's not an item, so I can't say that. My cat is not an item, so I can't say that. Um, um, I don't know. An iPhone, my computer, a power generator, an iPhone cord, and my computer cord. Bam, done. What? <laughs> Arlen asks, what's the best hair colors for a light brown person? I want colorful hair. Um, honestly, I think blonde looks really good on people with that skin tone. Uh, I think it really pops and just looks so beautiful. Otherwise, if you want a fun color, I think blue is really in right now. Denise asks, what are your holy grail makeup products? Um, I would definitely say the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation and that MAC um, spray that I talked about. I'll just leave it at two. Um, she also asks, also if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? 
I would definitely go to LA because I've never been there before. Fingers crossed that the opportunity comes up. <laughs> that would be so cool. Um, and do you believe in ghosts? Funny story, I actually did see a ghost when I was little, or so I believe. It could have been a waking dream, but I really do believe it was a ghost. So I do believe in ghosts. Maybe I'll have a ghost story video. Sammy asks, did you ever think you'd get this popular on YouTube or Facebook? You know, was it a shock and stuff? First of all, I could hug you for saying that because I don't feel popular. I'm starting from the ground up again. So honestly, I have received over a thousand new likes this past week and I'm super grateful for that. But at the same time, I don't feel like one of those super popular YouTubers. and I definitely don't have the YouTube numbers to back that up. But thank you again. The support that I've received this past week was kind of a shock because um, I have come accustomed to doing so much work on my blog and just not getting much feedback. And to get so much feedback from you guys is just overwhelming and just fills my heart with joy. And I love you guys so much and thank you for making my year so great so far. Sammy also asks, if you could be a superhero, who would you be? I think I would be Supergirl from that new show, Supergirl, because she has really, really shiny hair. That's on fleek. <laughs> My husband asked, um, <laughs> why do you like Mexican food so much? Okay, Mexican food is in my soul. I don't know what it is. I love it. It is everything to me. I could eat chips and dip, uh, guacamole, queso, pico de gallo, hot salsa. Oh, I could eat it all forever. Ranchero. Oh my God. Girl, I don't know what it is, but enchiladas are my thing. Nachos. Oh my God. Oh, and only authentic. None of this like Taco Bell stuff, although it can be fun to binge on Taco Bell from time to time. <laughs> Marissa asks, how many cats do you have? This is a good question because it's probably really confusing. <laughs> um, I just adopted a new cat with my husband um, named Gabby Ann, Gabbery Ann as her full name. And um, I have Karaoke, who you've seen in videos also. And I have two, those cats live with us, me and my husband. And then I have two cats that live at my parents' house that are family cats. And that's Kozer, the big fat white one, and then Mr. the big fat black and white one. So <laughs> they're really fat because my mom feeds them a lot. And love you, mom. Holly asks, what foundation and products do you recommend for dry skin? I got you, girl. Okay, so I definitely recommend the L'Oreal Lumi Primer for dry skin. And I definitely recommend the L'Oreal Lumi foundation for dry skin. This is a drugstore combo that will get your skin right with the Lord. Bruce asks um, another question, would you ever make music again in the near future? I have reached out to some producers. I'm in talks. Um, it would definitely always take backseat to like the YouTube stuff and like my career that I went to college for and stuff. So yeah, I would definitely do it for fun though. So I am interested in doing it for fun. I know I don't I don't have or claim to have a good voice. <laughs> I need auto-tune to save my life, but I have fun with music and I would like to do it again, definitely. Georgia Dis asked if he could get a shout out. So sorry, I hope I didn't butcher your name, but Georgia Dis, thank you for being on my Facebook and here's a shout out for you. What up? Yes! <laughs> so I think that was all the questions. Um, I double checked and I think I went through all of them. Um, if I missed one, I am so sorry, but there's an opportunity for Q&A number two. So I'm going to keep track of all the posts that I offer Q&A number two on. Um, basically the first way that you can get in on that Q&A number two is to leave a comment down below asking me any question you want and you'll be featured in the next Q&A video. So go ahead and do that. I'll definitely offer some chances on Facebook as well. Facebook.com slash Derek Morosky. That information is down in the description. And until I see you guys next time,
Peace out and like this video. Thumbs up. Yes.